I don't know who this is for, but you are enough, sis. Single ladies, you are enough. I know that at times we get discouraged because we're single. People may make you feel like your standards are too high. Your standards are not too high. You know, and I know that being single sometimes gets discouraging and sometimes it'll get lonely. But when you know your purpose and when you're working on your purpose, being single is really a good thing. I have been single almost three years now or maybe three years now and I have learned so much about myself. I have dated myself. I have had time to heal so that when God does bless me with my kingdom spouse, I am able to receive him. Sometimes we also go through things because God wants to work on us, you know. When you look around, just be honest with yourself. Like you see a lot of people that are in relationships, but you know, just for a fact checker, a lot of people are in relationships for help. You know, it's a lot of holidays that I have been single and I just thank God because I have peace. I have a peace of mind. I can remember being in a relationship just on different occasions, different days when I'd rather be at work than to be at home. You know, and it's a lot of people out here in relationships that are in it for help. A lot of people are still together because of what outside people are going to say. A lot of people are in misery. A lot of people are just trying to stick it out for the kids, you know. And I just feel like when you do these kind of things and you don't stick to your truth, it becomes to get worse, you know. I can remember when I was sticking out uh, my last serious relationship because of my children. And it seemed like the more I hung in there for my kids, the relationship began to be more toxic. And the more it was hurting my kids because I was trying to stay in that just so that my kids did not have to be apart from the other parent. But you know, sometimes you have to remove yourself from that situation because it hurts the kids more when they see an unhealthy environment, you know. You know, and I know that it may be hard. You know, my last serious relationship, it was really hard for me to leave. But God wanted to do so, something so awesome in me and something that he could not do because I was sleeping with the enemy, you know. And signs of this is where, you know, God will start to slow your life down so that you can pay attention, so that he can get your attention. I will literally get back with my ex and things would stop moving for me literally. You know, every time I would take him back, my world would stop. My cash flow would stop. I was self-employed, so I was feeling it hard. You know, it was a lot of spirit, spiritual warfare. You know, and at the time I didn't have the knowledge on and I was wondering why everything was happening, you know. And time, every time I would leave him, my fruit would start to speak for itself again. And I would start to blossom again, you know. And it just kept going and kept going until God had to literally take my last child from me to get me to remove myself from that relationship. You know, because when God has plans for our life and we try to do things our way or we feel like we want to be with this individual, he will turn it upside down until he gets your attention. And I don't know who this is for and why God put this on my spirit to do this video, but it's okay to be single. Walk in your truth. Let God heal you. I've come so far since removing myself, you know, and um, it's been, it's, it, it was tough, but I made it through. And, you know, a lot of things that I was brainwashed about and that I didn't understand, God started to reveal things for me, you know, to me. And now I have a peace of mind. I'm able to focus on why I'm here and what God called me here to do. So do what you got to do, sis, bro, whoever this may be for. Stay strong. God bless.